Hey guys, Waste of Potential 616 back again. Um, yeah, sorry, I haven't really been that regular with my videos and uh, I didn't pick up any new comics this week, but there are a couple of comics from my last batch that I haven't reviewed yet, so I thought I'd just uh, do some quick reviews of those. Um, and because I made such a big fuss about the series before, I should really talk about its conclusion, and that's uh, X Force um, Sex and Violence. And this is the concluding issue. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Um, to be honest, I thought it was the weaker of all three issues. Um, but that's not that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Um, I just, you know, it was the conclusion, and yeah, I felt it was a little bit by the numbers. Um, and there weren't really any surprises for me. I mean, there's a kind of twist in the end, but you you kind of see it coming. Um, but the thing is, with it, I mean, Carl and Yost do a good job. It's um, it is it, it's written very well, and the character. I mean, it's it's so nice to have Wolverine written how I feel it should be written. Um, so that's that's a bonus. Um, basically, this just this issue just kind of wraps things up. There's a big fight. Um, some other, you know, the re spoiler alert. The rest of X Force appear, and it's it's cool. It's fun. Um, basically, the big selling point is the artwork. Uh, Delotto, um, Italian painter, did um, the Secret War uh, recently. The second Secret War, not the original. Uh, Secret War series, um, just beautiful, beautiful work. Just so good to look at. I mean, I I end up rereading it and rereading it and flicking through and just looking at the artwork. And look at this beautiful splash page. They can't really see it there, but you get the idea. Just really good stuff. Um, but yeah, um, there was no real surprises here. Um, but as I say, an entertaining read and, and a satisfying conclusion to the. Uh, to the series, and um, as I say, I'm interested to see what this new X Force is going to be like, the uncanny one with uh, Deadpool and and whatnot. And, um, you know, uh, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, an entertaining series, and you know, if you haven't been picking it up and you're a Wolverine fan, you should pick up the trade. Um, you get to read Wolverine the way it should be, other cool characters, and the artwork is just amazing. It really is. Just I, I can't praise it enough. Just really beautiful stuff. Um, I suppose we're talk about X Men Three, uh, Curse of the Vampires. Um, you know, it has Wolverine uh, going after Jubilee. Um, I'm spoiler. Alert. There's lots of spoilers. I'm just going to basically say that. Well, before I say, this is good, but it's extremely predictable. Very, I mean, more so than X Force. Um, much more. It's very, very, very by the numbers. I mean, if you have any sort of knowledge of X Men or, or whatnot, you can kind of see everything coming. Mean, Wolverine goes off to Jubilee. Um, she ends up on the side of the vampires. She turns him into a vampire right at the end. And um, but I mean, now I could be wrong. You know, but I predict that Wolverine's going to be a vampire. But um, it's going to seem he's turned bad, but then it seems then it's going to turn out that he hasn't, and, they, and probably Jubilee hasn't actually turned fully bad. Um, maybe, you know, Wolverine's healing factor is helping him sort of stave it off, and he was given an injection at one point, and I think it might be part of the plan that, because he's got a healing factor, get, you know, use him as a mole. Um, so, yeah, it's a very predictable, very bad numbers, but very fun at the same time. It doesn't take itself too seriously, um, you know, it's, um, I mean, uh, what's his name, uh, Ginchler, he does a better job in this than, than, than fucking uh, Deadpool core, I mean, you know, this is fun, it's, it's not revolutionary, it's not going to change comics, it's kind of a by the numbers um, X-Men, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of the way X-Men was written in the 90s, um, early 90s, maybe. Uh, not all of the 90s, because there were some bad points there. It, it, it's good, I mean, you know, you get to see Wolverine and Flags and Vampires, and, and there's some good dialogue between Cyclops and um, Dracula, you know. I mean, we know Dracula's going to end up helping the uh, X-Men at some point to get his revenge on his son, and then 
returning on the X minute at the last moment or something along those lines, you know. But um an entertaining read. I'm gonna stick with it, but just nothing groundbreaking, you know. Um still on the vampire flex, um Avengers three. Um Mark Millar and um you know um, Steve Dillon. Um I really like Steve Dillon's artwork. I always have since uh, Preacher. Um and it's it's cool seeing him do these characters. Um I don't know, it's, uh, it's been a slow decline in the whole Ultimates thing. It's such a shame because it was so good when it first came out. Um, Miller's not doing a bad job, you know, he still does some cool scenes in there. There's a pretty interesting scene where Blade's um, interrogating a vampire with a priest and um, and the Avengers eventually go after these vampires and, you know, it's, it's, it's okay, but I just... I mean, I've been having a few money problems at the moment. I'm going to think I'm going to need to cut down my um, my order. I'm going to have to uh, do a culling of a lot of the comments I get, and I think this is going to be a victim. You know, I mean, it's 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 okay. I I just used to be such a big fan of Mark Millar. Um, this is just I f I do feel like it's just calling it in. You know, it's not as good as some of his previous stuff. Maybe if it's a different writer I'd enjoy it more, but I think he's just raised the bar so much. I mean the original uh, Ultimate series was so, so good. Um, I mean <laughs> him and Brian Hitch it was such a good coalition, but um, this is okay. Okay, it's not awful. I mean, a lot of people saying, "Oh, you know, this is crap." And, uh, and Mark Millar. I mean, a lot of people criticizing Mark Millar for maybe he's writing for movies or just using shock tactics. And... There's an element of truth to that, but I don't think it's as bad as all of that. Anyway, this is okay, but I think I'm going to drop it. To be honest. Um, yeah, who knows when I'm going to pick up my comics. I've got quite a busy uh, weekend ahead. Um, I'm going to go out raving with my girlfriend. Uh, so it should be interesting. Although I haven't been to a rave in about two years. Um, used to be a big big part of my life. But um, I don't know, I kind of resigned myself. That I've kind of gotten a little bit too old for all of that. But um, fuck it, I think I'm going to have a good time. And, uh, but a beautiful lady at my side, um, I know I will. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's that. Um, when I do get some more comics, uh, it's probably going to be like next weekend or something. Um, my comic shop kindly keeps my comics for me. So, anyway, tell her, look after yourselves, and uh, can't think of a witty thing to end this video with. Oh well, I'll give it some more thought next time. Bye.